Good day, this 263rd day, Meaningful Moments, 365 days. So, a few nights ago, we were celebrating my birthday, and one of the things that I had been really wanting to um, sit down and take some time to unwind and enjoy is a movie called In the Heights. And I fell in love with this production a few years ago, probably about five years ago now, maybe six, uh, in Detroit when I was living there. And there was a guild of actors that did Broadway productions and things like that, and they had come to the area, and it was an outdoor performance of this movie, In the Heights. If you're not familiar with it, it's a production that was put on by Lin-Manuel Miranda who is famous for Hamilton and all the hype around Hamilton. But In the Heights took place way before, or was written way before Hamilton. Anyway, that being said, um, the story takes place in a neighborhood in New York called Washington Heights, hence In the Heights. And it's all about a main character and of course this um, whole community of different characters, very colorful characters that make up the story and all the interactions between them. But the one main character has a running theme that he's always looking or aspiring to do something great, uh, live his dream. And it's all based on um, El Sueñito, the little dream. And all, all the characters, every one of them have a Sueñito, little dream. And they're all searching for how to make their dream come true. And, you know, there's a lot of courage and hope and aspiration and, you know, different trials that people are going through and all of that that's interwoven in the stories. And it makes a rich blend of this soul experience that all of us are partaking in and having right now while we're here on this journey. And then last night when I was putting together some different albums that I had posted on my personal Facebook page. I was recalling like this time over the last few months, all these special moments and memories and really taking stock and value in these opportunities that we get to experience. These different encounters, these different celebrations, passages, rites of passage that we get to have. And with the equinox approaching later this week, or just in a few days actually, and now tonight, the full moon, also called the harvest moon, I was really taking in this whole concept of the harvest. You know, all the things we get to watch ripen and then harvest. And it's, you know, what has bared fruit for us. And it reminded me of In the Heights and watching that a few nights ago. And I thought to myself, you know, here we're always looking like out there for El Sueñito. And it's the dream like right now. And <laughs> the more we find our center and take stock in everything we have right in this moment. And be aware of how easy it is to take things for granted. The more that we can truly experience inevitably what is found also in that story in the Heights about what that home truly is, what that center is, and how it can't be lost, but it must be found, and it's like right in here, and everything around it. All the constellations moving around this central sun or star. And um, that's how it made me feel as I was going through those albums and coming to the same conclusions that the main character in In the Heights found as well. And it's a story, it's inspirational, all those things, but nothing is like when you yourself are inspired from within. You yourself feel that you are home right here inside. And from there, 
sure you can go to all kinds of places and build outside homes and all those kinds of things and create new spaces and wonderful adventures and all of that that's the journey that's part of this whole magic that we get to experience but to know that center place here and to soar i would say above the heights not even in the heights but above in the heights and um bringing that to you today as i was feeling that elevation and wishing that for you and your experiences turns out that there's a eagle soaring on my screen right now too <laughs> wishing and nights for you aho my friends